So, hey guys, Chauso here, and yeah, this is going to be my dreams against treasure map queen, and yeah, my priorities for this treasure map has been mainly two. The first is to just auto battle as much as possible, and when I get to the final stage, uh, use as few specials as possible. Uh, it's mostly like usual, it's just that in the past I've also tried to incorporate some wave clears, to stall less, but I'm just not feeling doing anything but auto battle until the boss now. So yeah, hopefully it works out fine. So yeah, let's jump into the teams. Uh, I did do one more multi and I got the chopper as well. So the only ones I lack are, I only lack the big mom. As well as the two new legends. So yeah, that's the situation for me. And yeah, treasure map, the easy boss in treasure map, X Drake, doesn't do anything special. Like with a 1 KO team like this, you can just ignore everything. So yeah, I just use Kisna Kid. Then I just one tap, kill all the, all the, all the stages 1 to 4. And then on the final stage, I use Big Mom once. Then I use her again when I need to, and when I don't, when I don't do enough damage, I add the legendary Corazon to heal her up. And if I still don't do enough damage later, I'll add the rare recruit hack, who is actually pretty good. But yeah, for now in the beginning, I'll just have some point fillers, and it's the Renex Drake and this East Blue Brook. So yeah, pretty straightforward. And I use Buggy because of extra drops. I think it's more valuable personally than the extra points. Like, I don't know if you've heard, but the point growth for mini bosses have actually been nerfed on global since last treasure map. So mini bosses matter even less than before. And I already didn't really care about these, except for the drops. So, yeah. Moving on, and yeah, I, I know you'll react to the sugar there, I'll talk about that later. But yeah, let's just see what this page 1 does. He does two things really, chain slots to unfavorable, 3 turns of death up. So unfavorable is what quick isn't very good against, which is Dex. And yeah, we'll have, we have a support here on the Frankie, that makes Dex loss beneficial when you use a special. So yeah, that means that when Frank uses his special, he makes all slots matching. And he'll also give a color affinity to Quick, so that's some extra damage. Uh, I haven't maxed my Brook yet. Like, if I had to max my Brook, I would have done it. But uh, this Kamaso is actually a very good replacement. Since he does a Chain Lock, removes the death up. And even does an HP cut, a pretty big one too, 20%. And that means we can put support smoker on him. So we get an attack boost for quick as well. So that means that Kamasu and Frankie together gives chain lock, attack boost, color affinity. So all we really lack is ore boost and a high multiplier captain. And I just couldn't find any good high multiplier captains. Like there are some... Three times captains, maybe 3.25. And I just wasn't feeling it. Like, nothing really made sense to me. So I looked outside of the boosted units and I just set them for sugar. Like, we won't be able to use her special, but she's still a 4.5 times captain. As long as cost is 40 or below. So yeah, we'll have her and we also get her super type. Which is an ore boost, and that doesn't have a charge, obviously, you just need to run one of the units. And we have one boosted of Flamingo, it's just 1.1 times boost, so it's not a lot, but better than nothing. So yeah, we'll easily be able to get through with just Sugar, Frankie and Killer Special for a long time. And if we ever need more damage, we can swap out the Filler Usohachi for like the Arena Brook. Because I will be farming him during the treasure map with my excess stamina. Okay, moving on to Yak. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. I should keep this team for the entire treasure map mostly. Uh, Yak does two things really. 
He does four turns of the spear, four turns of attack down. Uh, Shirosha Manchure handles the spear with your special. She also changes all slots to matching or rainbow to more, be more specific. And gives a chain boost. And of course, she got, goes into duo form. And we get a 4.5 times attack captain. And the friend captain is still decently high. 3.75 times. So, yeah, over 4 times captain together. So, not bad at all. We also have the shopper support on her. This gives a 1.5 times uh, color affinity boost to quick and cerebral. So yeah, that means the only thing we have to deal with is the attack down. Uh, Hawkins has the page 1 support, removes 2 turns. So we just need to remove 2 more turns. And yeah, I remembered about uh, Hyogoro. He removes 2 turns of attack down and uses the special. And luckily we have a striker quick Luffy boosted. That also does an attack boost. So just up. Yeah, he has perfectly solved the puzzle. But I am aware that not many others will be able to do this since we're talking about two treasure map boosters here. But works fine for me. So yeah. Then we have Hina. I think she should be ready. Like she's minus five. Or was it? Oh, it's just minus five. So that means it's minus. That means nine CD, seven with socket, six with chip. I think six should be ready for final stage, but if it isn't, I'll just adapt. So yeah, I'll also just use the right hand special here. It will work fine, I think. Moving on to quick, and I just put all the high point decks here. Basically, there's a lot of high point decks and not really anything to use them for. Uh, let's see what King does. Oh, I clicked the toko. There we go. And he has lots of change to unfavorable, two turns of para, five turns of damage threshold, and when defeated, 50,000 damage. We'll have to see about the damage. Uh, I'm not sure how much HP I'll have, but if I feel like I'm in danger, I'll just use Hero Special since, since she has resilience. Otherwise, I only plan to use two specials in the beginning, like I'll use Yukimaru since he handles everything, removes paralysis and damage threshold. He has the new shopper support on him, which is very nice. Free 1.3 times color affinity to Dex, super good. And yeah, then we use, have Capone too, who will make all slots matching. Since the way Capone works is he'll change all slots to unfavorable. And whatever slot the captain has will be treated as matching. And this means that all units here will get a strength slot. And Capone will make strength matching. So that will work very well. Uh, Capone also has uh, does an attack boost. I will fix his sockets. <laughs> I just not used him so much yet. And we also have Caesar support. Very nice. Adds extra damage. With the poison conditional. So yeah that will be a lot. And yeah as we go on. I will change out units. Like at 1 million. I will replace Hiyori with. Trash map Komurasaki. That means I can get an easy chain lock. With the Sanju support. As well as damage reduction. If I need it. For the, the death damage. And I can just replace like. Otoko or something with. The treasure map. Anniversary Luffy for an ore boost if I need even more damage later. So yeah, we should be covered for this Frank is just a point booster filler And yeah, finally we have Queen and uh, This is a bit iffy. I will probably end up changing this quite a bit uh, Queen is just filler for the trash map Queen. I will swap them out later like, I obviously won't use Queen, I'm just showing that this is supposed to be Queen. I put in some other point boost filler until 1 million. But yeah, let's see what Queen does. I will be using Sora as a friend captain. Uh, like, it's about priorities, right? I could probably get away with not using Sora for a while. But since my goal is to do, like, well over 100 runs... My focus is just on 
getting a consistent team that I feel comfortable with. Salia's so using from the get go makes it pretty chill, I'd say. And yeah, stage 4 is a lot. You get a 50% HP cut. You get 2 turns of special bind. Sora handles that. You get a full board of bomb slots. And 5 turns of bind. We run Lucy Captain with A support, so that solves the bind. Kid support on Chopper, that solves the bomb, makes the matching for everybody. Uh, we, we, also, we can use Chopper this stage as well. We get Color Affinity for Dex and Quick 2.25 times. Uh, in the beginning, I will probably save Chopper though since he removes the damage reduction. So when I get Queen, I'll use Chopper stage 4 instead. But until I get Queen, I'll just use Chopper stage 5 to remove the damage reduction. Uh, uh, the main uh, problem with this team is that I do use the treasure map uh, uh, Rumble Lucy because it's the highest attack captain like he's a 3.5 times captain for Dex and Quick so that's easily the best free to play option it's just that his special has very bad synergy so I'm not exactly sure what I'll do uh, I might end up using his special stage 3 so that I get an ore boost stage 4. Because if I use his special stage 4, I will carry, carry over the uh, ore boost to final stage. So he will stop Soros ore boost, which will be more damage. So it's just bad synergy. See, so yeah, I will see what I can do. There are some different options. I'll have to feel it out a bit what I'll do. Uh, because another thing I can do, like, if I use... Uh, yeah, I just have to wait and see and get a feel for it. But yeah, let's look at the final stage instead. Because final stage, I think, I know will be... Work well enough. Uh, we get crewmate special reverse and two turns of special bind. Both of those are handled by the Sora friend captain. Sora removes the special bind and his special reduces CD for everybody by two turns. And yeah, the only other thing is the reduced damage, the rainbow shield. Uh, I will use Chopper for that, the first one million, and then I'll use Treasure Map Queen for that. Queen is nice since it's a quick unit, and the stage 4 boss is strength, so we get two units that can do a lot of damage at least. Uh, otherwise, we have the Sandy as well. High, high booster gives a chain lock three times, three times boost. And he has the Kung Fu Luffy support. So this means we get a matching orb for all the Dex units around him. So that will be a nice final stage. Uh, then we'll also use Sora Special for orb boost probably. His super type won't help anything since we use Chopper after all. But we have the Tama and her special won't do anything either. But she does have the Sengoku support so... We get an attack boost at least. So yeah, I think it should be good for some time. Like it might work a very long time. I just need to get a feel for it. It's hard to uh, know beforehand really. But there are surely ways to increase damage if I need to. Uh, moving on to final team. And yeah, there, there was no really good option here for captain I felt uh, like I could use Lucy here too the problem is that Lucy he has one of those caps where you have to keep killing to get the good captain ability so for for the main boss Lucy will be a 3.5 times captain but on the ambush he will just be a 2.5 times captain so that's a lot worse I really need to fix my sockets. <laughs> I'm going to do that after this video. Uh, but yeah, that's why we have Como instead. Since she is a consistent 3 times attack boost for Dex and Quick. So yeah, it's just better. Not optimal, but better than nothing. So yeah, let's take a look here what Big Mom does. I will be using Kaido for this. Same reasoning as before, he's just the 
Best option long term, so I'll just go for it right away. And yeah, Dex and Quick get reduced. CD. And yeah, preempty slot change to empty. We get 20% damage cut end of turn. And 3 turns of attack and ore boost at a very low rate. So yeah, my strat for stage 2 is same as my accessible teams. I'm going to stall one turn. And then the plan is that I kill the second turn. So when I get to the final boss stage, the attack and ore boost will be gone and I can use my own buffs. We'll have to see how that works out. Like you don't I am not really worried like in the beginning. It will be easy. We'll have to say if it works long term. But damage wise, I'm not worried about the final boss. It's the stage two that might be an issue, so yeah, we'll see how I can work things out. But I do got some options for adding damage. Uh, of course, the obvious damage increase is the chopper, since he does a 2.25 times color affinity. Like, if I need more damage against stage 2, I can use the Sanji there as well to get the chain lock. And of course, we will get that HP cut end of turn, and that will trigger Kaido. And we will get the increased damage taken, as well as matching orbs for everybody. I want to note that Sanji is minus 10 CD, so yeah, he'll be ready anyway. Uh, yeah, let's move on to final stage then. Burn, you can ignore the burn. Five turns of resilience, and then it's the tap timing barrier. Tap timing barrier is annoying since it's a time waste, but for this team it doesn't really matter. Uh, but yeah, we, we will just stack a ton of buffs. Like, we have the Capone, does the attack boost, he has the CC report, support. This lets me bypass the resilience as well as add a conditional. We have the shopper from earlier with color affinity. We have Otama for an ore boost. He, oh, she even, she even removes a turn of barrier. I forgot about that. And the barrier is just one turn, right? Yeah, of course, because it's meant to be removed by Otama. That's perfect. We save some time then. And yeah, we won't be using Komu really. She's just here for the multiplier. So yeah, even if Kaido is the only quick unit, he alone will do so much damage since we'll use Kaido special as well. So if if we include Sanji, I'm not sure what stage I'll use him. We'll have a three point three times chain lock, two times attack, 1.75 times ore boost, 2.25 times color affinity, and a two times increased damage taken. And of course poison conditional. So yeah, Kaido will just one it KO forever. I'm very confident about that. But yeah, that's my team for Trash Map Queen. As always, I will be making changes during Trash Map as I see fit. Usually, my teams are more ironed out a day before Trash Map, but you know, I didn't pull before today, so I didn't start making teams before today. So yeah, it's annoying, but it is what it is. I've showcased my team at least. I hope they were helpful for some. And yeah. Good luck everybody on their treasure map grind. See you next time.